That is the first print version of the book by Jan Karski. It tells a story about Polish resistance fighters and lies in operations around Europe. First chapter of the book describes the beginning of the war, mobilization and attitudes in Polish society. It is an exceptional source to learn their side of the conflict, and this book was a great choice for that. After the chapter defeat, Jan Karski tells intriguing, near-death story of his own about being a prisoner of war in Soviet camp. In resistance, he joined to become a liaison. He was connecting allied and Polish governments in exile with the newly formed parliament in the undergrounds of Poland. He was an easy choice for this job, because he was an educated multilingual officer in the Polish resistance. Karski is a pseudonym. Actual last name is Kazilevsky. He changed a lot of names during the war to be hidden from the Gestapo and infiltrated to complete the mission. However, one time it didn't help. He was caught by Gestapo, almost literally naked in his bed. He got a lot of scars for the rest of his life. Karski saw a lot of exclusive things being a liaison in resistance, for example, concentration camps. He told about them with his book, even before the war ended. After delivering his message to the world and to the president of FDR, he stayed and lived in Maryland, where he became a professor of foreign relations in Georgetown University. When I learned that he lived in the Maryland area, the first thing that I did was to google where he was buried. It was a huge graveyard to search. But there was one extremely helpful photograph that I decided where to search for. Jan Karski died in 2000, he told his message to the world.